One of the newest upcoming films, Ron's Gone Wrong, is set to release on October 22, 2021, and fans could not be more excited. The movie is set in a world where the hottest new piece of tech is a buddy bot that's used as a way for teens to digitally connect with one another, much like they do on social media. The robots are meant to be a companion capable of anything. The story is set to follow Barney, a young kid who is voiced by Jack Dylan Glazer, the same voice of Alberto in Pixar's Luca. Barney is a socially awkward kid in middle school who's one of the last of his age group to get his hands on a bebot. However, when he finally gets a hold of one as a birthday gift from his father, he quickly finds out that his new buddy Ron is full of malfunctions and bugs. But that doesn't stop the two from bonding as Barney tries to teach Ron how to be human, and Ron slowly teaches Barney the meaning of true friendship. Not much is known about the Podowski family from the trailer, but one thing that we can take away is that Barney's mother appears to not be around for some unknown reason. We can see a family picture hanging on the staircase that looks like it contains Barney's mother, father, and himself, but other than that, there's no sign of her. We do get to see a woman who appears to be Barney's grandmother, and there is something a lot of fans found to be familiar about her. But here's where things get a little crazy. Did you happen to notice any of the Easter eggs in the trailer? Because it looks like there are a lot of major clues that can be taken away from it, including one huge one that is leading a lot of fans to believe that there's going to be a large connection to Pixar's film Coco. Some people even believe that we might see a character from Coco not only make an appearance, but play a large role in the upcoming movie Ron's Gone Wrong. Hang in there, because it's about to get interesting. One of the coolest things about the trailer is the fact that fans believe that they've already found the film's first Easter egg. The first thing that we should take note of is all of the decorations and objects that we can see around the Podowski family's house. Doesn't everything look quite colorful? I mean, all of the birthday decorations are made out of brightly colored ribbons sticking out of what appear to be chunks of cheese and sausage skewered onto tiny pickles. Not to mention during the scene when Barney's asking his father for a bebot and his dad responds about not wanting him to get addicted to an electronic, all while being sucked into his phone screen. Did you notice the amount of food at that table? It looks like only three people are sitting down to eat and the table is full of appetizers, entrees, and desserts. It looks like a legitimate feast. All of this is very accurate to how a lot of traditional Hispanic households are, especially on birthdays. The table is always full of food and the house is always full of color. But do you want to know what the most interesting part of that scene in the trailer is? If you pause it while the dad is giving his hypocritical speech to Barney, you can see just over his shoulder a word that appears to be Coco. We can't tell if it's from a food box or label of some sort, but it definitely appears to say Coco in white letters. It's a very subtle clue, but that's what Pixar and Disney are known for. They always put small hints and Easter eggs to their other films all throughout their movies. And the fact that fans may have found the first one already and the movie isn't scheduled to come out for another few weeks is amazing. Now the fans think they've found the Easter egg, theories are going wild over what the possible connection could be. In fact, it has many fans taking a look at Rosa, Miguel's cousin in the film Coco. In the movie, Rosa was the child of Berto and Carmen Rivera. She had three siblings by the names of Manny, Benny, and Abel. And as we mentioned before, Rosa was Miguel, the main character of Coco's cousin. We didn't see Rosa a whole lot throughout the film, but towards the end, after the music band was lifted, we see that she begins to branch out and play the violin. Some people are beginning to think that she branched out even farther and ended up moving away and starting a family of her own. And they believe that family might have been the Podowski family that we'll be meeting in Ron's Gone Wrong. I mean, when you think about it and take a look at all of the clues that people have found in the trailer alone, the theory doesn't seem like it would be too far off, right? I mean, I know she's older, but think about how similar Barney's grandmother looks to Rosa. They both have round faces, much like Coco did, and round noses to match it. I know she isn't wearing glasses in Ron's Gone Wrong, but she could easily be wearing contacts or something of the sort. Another thing that's worth noting is his grandmother's accent. Although we can't say with certainty the type of accent that she has, due to the fact that she only speaks a few words throughout the trailer, we know for certain that she learned to speak English as her second language. But combining her accent with her appearance, a lot of fans truly believe her to be Rosa all grown up. But hold on, there's more! Did you happen to notice all of the colorful pottery that can be seen all throughout the house in the background of the trailer? Well, that's very similar to a lot of pottery in Hispanic culture. One other thing that people are taking away from the way that his grandmother looks is that clearly, Barney's father doesn't share much resemblance with his grandmother, which means that it's likely that Barney's grandmother is from his mom's side of the family. And then when you turn your attention to Graham's son Barney, it's almost easy to see a combination of Graham and Miguel from Coco. I know that 
that this theory may seem like a bit much or like it's reaching too far, but some fans have convinced themselves that there's a genuine connection between Coco and Ron's Gone Wrong and that this is it. I mean, come on, how cool would it be if that was Rosa? Now, as if that wasn't enough, it looks like fans may have actually spotted one more Easter egg in the trailers for Ron's Gone Wrong. This time, we need to take a look at Graham's computer desk that can be seen during the scene where he's asking Barney how the bot is working out. If you take a look at the right corner of the screen, you'll see a little figurine or paperweight. Well, if you look closely enough, you'll notice that it's actually a statue of some sort of seaman. As of right now, we aren't 100% sure about what exactly this is an Easter egg for, but a lot of fans are speculating that it is a nod to Luca. You see, Pixar's Luca was the first Disney-related film that Jack Dylan Glazer worked on. He was Alberto. And in the upcoming movie, Ron's Gone Wrong, he plays the main character, Barney, leaving many fans to believe that there is likely to be multiple Easter eggs for Pixar's Luca throughout his new movie. And this might have been the first one that we can see. There's also an idea that it's actually an Easter egg for an entirely different upcoming film that we haven't even heard of yet. Because we all know that Disney and Pixar both enjoy doing that as well. But what do you guys think the statue on Graham's desk is an Easter egg for? If you have any ideas, be sure to let us know in the comments section. Ron's Gone Wrong looks like it's going to be a very fun movie, and I, for one, cannot wait until it comes out in theaters on October 22nd of this year. Although we may have been able to figure out a whole bunch from just the trailers, I'm sure that the movie has a ton more in store for us that we don't have the slightest clue about. But what do you think? What do you expect to see happen in Ron's Gone Wrong? If you have any predictions, let us know in the comments down below. That's all, Disney fans. Let us know what you thought of this video in the comments, and like and subscribe for more magically packed videos.